Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Economics. Today, we are looking at the determinants of supply. Okay, and of course, we're also going to look at the change, uh, difference between change in supply and change in quantity supply. Okay, so I'm going to look at determinants, determinants, okay, of supply. Then I'm also going to double into looking at uh, difference, okay, or distinction between, okay, change. Let me use change data, change in quantity uh, supplied and change in supply, okay, change in supply. And change in quantity supplied. Okay, so uh, do not forget that this series, this episode, this lessons, these tutorials, free tutorials, are brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam CBT Practice app. I'm aware that somebody is selling our videos to students that they should pay ten thousand naira to access our tutorials. It's completely free. All right, please do not let anybody scam you. All right, with our videos. Okay. They are completely free, accessible in all our social media platforms, Facebook, on TikTok, on uh, YouTube. They are all accessible for free. All right. If you want to learn, you learn for free. Okay. So uh, uh, this tutorial is about to be by the OT Schools Jam CBT Practice app. We're going to we'll talk about the app in a moment. But before then, let us see a question, a jam pass question from the app. 2005 number 23 2005 number 23 it is being displayed on your screen right now it says an increase in the quantity supplied of a commodity suggests increase in quantity supply of a commodity suggests a a leftward shift of the supply curve b a rightward shift of the supply curve c a movement along the supply curve d an increase in elasticity of supply all right so we'll come back to this question and many more as it pertains to this topic at the end of the class and not before this is because at o3 schools we believe in giving you value first let us teach you once we have taught you answering question will be the least of your problem so please download that o3 school jump app if you have made your decision to pass your jump exam at once you need that application installed and activated on your phone the app has all the past questions you need for your exam under the practice for UTME section. It has classroom with lecture notes, jam syllabus, structured according to the jam syllabus. The lecture notes on the on the classroom are structured just like exactly following the jam word syllabus. And what is more is that what you have the question search feature, just like you will search for this question, you can write the topic uh, that you're looking for questions and the questions on that topic will come out for you to answer. Then there's a mock challenge every Saturday for all students that are writing jam for this year. On that challenge, every Saturday by 10 a.m., you come to the app, you compete with your mates, okay? You get used to jam past question, jam like the exam question, familiarize yourself with how jam set question, and you see your result release every Saturday, just like jam will release your results, thereby boosting your confidence towards the main exam. So please, all and all of this feature and all the other ones you are seeing on the face of the screen right now goes for less than the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant. Please, commit to your future, get the application, activate it and start practicing now. Time is something you do not have the luxury of. Let us go to determinants of supply. Okay, so I'll just give you a simple short code for you to easily watch. remember. There are more, of course, but this code, this short code will help you remember the determinants of supply easily. Okay, so let me just say pint. Okay, let me say pint WC. Okay, so this is what the short code to easily remember what the determinants of what of supply. Okay, uh, where P there stands for productivity of labor okay productivity of labor okay and then your i here stands for indirect tax okay then of course your n here stands for number of firms okay t here stands for what technology okay s here stands for what subsidy subsidy Okay, W is half for weather condition. Okay, what's that? Start for what? Cost of what? Production. Okay, cost of production. Okay, and under this cost of production, we have uh, we have transport costs. 
transport costs, we have labor costs, we, we have a cost of oil, cost of uh, uh, raw materials, cost of raw materials. Okay, under this, we also have government regulation. Okay, government, government regulation. Okay, all of these. Um, cost of raw materials, including the cost of uh, electricity, cost of uh, utility, generally utility, electricity, rent, and so on and so forth. Okay, so all these are under what are uh, determinants of water supply, productivity or labor, indirect tax, number of firms, technology, subsidy, subsidy, weather, cost of production. Okay, and of course, under the cost of production, say we have transport costs, labor costs, oil costs, raw materials, utilities, such as what electricity and rent. Government regulations and so on and so forth. These are all determinants of what or supply. You are supposed to want to put them somewhere in your head. All right. So write them down. Look at them. There, there's nothing you want me to explain there. All right. Because we are, I think I've explained most of them. All right. Before, so you know what they are. All right. So let us just boost into the major part of this class, which is the difference between change in quantity supply and change in supply. All right, so please, if you, for any reason you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very wrong, okay? It, it shows how wicked you are if you have not liked the video. And if you are not sharing, it shows that you are even more wicker than the wickedest. All right, so please, click on the share button. Let other students benefit from this. You have class group, you have friends, you have WhatsApp groups, you have Facebook groups, share. You have a Facebook page, share. Just click on the share button, comment. Join Master T or join Jam Free Jam Economics Lessons. All right, just comment, drop comments. All right, make sure people are what are seeing these videos. Okay, so that everybody can succeed and pass all at once. So let us see the difference between changing quantity supply and change in supply. Let me talk about change in supply first of all. So if you have what your supply curve like this. Okay, if you have your supply curve like this. Okay, so this is the entire supply curve. Okay. There is, this is your price. Okay, and here, of course, what's your quantity was supplied, all right? On this, what, uh, X axis. This is your Y axis, okay? So now, this is the entire what, supply curve. So for change in supply, change, please take, why well, I'm not going to talk too much about this is because we talk about change in quantity demanded uh, versus what, change in what, uh, um, uh, what again? We talk about change in demand as a change in quantity was demanded. Okay, we we'll talk about that in the what? We we'll talk about the theory of demand. So I will also I'm not going to beat around the bush too much in this class. Okay, let us be hitting the nail on the head so that we know what we are doing here and we're out of here. Okay, so for change in supply, change in supply talks about what a a shift a shift in the supply curve. Okay, whenever you hear change in supply, change in supply. Okay, we we'll talk about what a shift, a shift in the entire, in the entire supply curve. Okay, that's what, what change in supply talks about. Okay, change in supply talks about a change, a shift. Okay, a shift in the entire what supply what curve. Okay, so let's say for example, so if this is your entire what supply curve, okay, if this is your entire supply curve, okay, change in supply talks about what a shift in what in the supply curve itself, a complete shift, okay, of the supply curve, either to the left or to the right. Okay, if this is our S1, okay, this is the first what supply curve, okay. If it shifts to the left, all right, so we're going to have something like this. All right, so this was now what our S2, okay? Or it can shift to the what, to the right, okay? This way, all right? So give us what S3, okay? So this is what now, a shift, a shift from here to here, okay? Or from what, or from here to what, to here, okay? Is what, change in what, in supply. This is what change in supply, a, a complete shift in the entire supply curve. That is what change in what, in supply. All right, please take it, Take it, take it what and note it, all right? Shift in the entire supply curve is what change in supply, all right? But for when it comes to change in quantity, what, uh, change in quantity supply, all right? That one is not what a complete shift. It's not an entire shift. It's not a shift. We don't use the word shift for change in quantity supply. We use the word what movement, 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 okay? Along, okay, a supply what curve along a supply curve, okay? So, 
change in quantity supplied, okay, will be what a movement along what a single along one of these what supply what curve. Okay, let's say for example, we have something like this. Initially, uh, this is our supply curve, all right. Then uh, price, let's say price when price was uh, P1. Okay, quantity demand uh, supply that was all was Q1. Then of course the price now moves to what to P2. If it moves to P2, okay, it will what it will hit the curve here and then to come down here. I go to have what Q2. If the price even still goes to what P3, okay, it will what hit here and will go to what Q3. So as you can see, there's a movement from here to what to here to what to here as a result of the change in quantity supplied. Okay, as a result of the change in quantity supplied, it does not lead to the move, it does not lead to the what to the shift of the entire supply curve. Okay, it does not lead to, to, to the what to the uh to, to a shift in the entire supply curve. It leads to also what doesn't move to what a movement with the word movement, it leads to a movement along a supply curve. So for change in quantity demanded. So the change in quantity supplied, rather, we use what movement along a supply curve. Okay, but for change in supply, we use what shift in the entire supply curve. You see, past question now, you see the way the water set it. It's very, very, very easy. Okay, so now let us take for let us take an example. Let's say, for example, let us use a, a trendy example. For example, let's say the the cost of what of gas. Okay, if the cost of gasoline, okay, is quite quite high right now. All right, let's say the government waded in and saw that. Oh man, this price of gas is getting too high. Okay, let's say it was one thousand seven hundred. Okay, let me just say it was uh, it was P three. Okay, it was P three. All right. So because it was P three, government answer ah, it's too high. All right, let us introduce a price cap. A price cap. You know what a price cap is now. Okay, let us let us cap it. Okay, so that it does not exceed this price. Then nobody should sell above so 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 and so price. Okay, let's nobody sell what above what. Above what so 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 and so price. Let's say what that price what is P2. Okay. If government what set the price at P2, all right, it will lead to a shift in the what in the supply curve. No, it's not lead to a shift in supply curve because it's only how to do what with price, changing what in price. All right. Because what as as you can see, if the government want to leave it at P2, if you trace it, it will be the curve here, all right, and come to what Q2. Okay. So this will not be what the what the price. Okay. This this will be the quantity that what I supply. At this what at this price, all right. So it will not lead to what to a shift. That it will lead to what a movement, okay, along what a supply curve. So that is that for that. Now, for example, let us now say if the cost of refining gasoline, if the cost of refining gasoline goes up, this one now is not. It has not to do with governments, okay. So the entire cost of what of refining gasoline, refining arrow F. I N I N G. Okay, the cost of refining gasoline. If it goes up, if it goes up, all right. So this one will affect the entire what production chain. Okay, it will affect both the what who is producing it, the cost of raw materials possibly has increased. Many many factors of production as what are on the are on the high. That means that what definitely it what to affect what it will affect what the price and it will affect what the quantity what supplied. All right. So because this one this 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 factor okay refining cost okay affects the entire market. All right. What will happen? It will happen that what that the supply curve what what will shift. It will what it will shift. All right. Let's say for let's say it was here initially. Let's say they were supplying Q one. All right. When price was what? When price was P1. When they supply this Q1, price of P1. Okay. At this same was supply. Okay. They may what decide to increase what price. Okay. They are still supplying Q1, but the price was will slightly what increase because of what the refining cost that has gone up. Okay. That's affected your market. All right. So because of this refining cost, at this same Q1. Okay. You will see that what the price may go somewhere here. Okay, it may it may move from here to what to here, thereby leading to a shift to a shift in this what in this supply curve. Okay, the price is now here. So let's say it was this price Q two was here before. Okay, it now because because of the refining cost, it now moves somewhere here. Okay, so from here it now move to what to somewhere what somewhere here. All right, so it's as simple as A B C. So uh, refining cost affect the general market. Okay, it affect the whole production chain. All right, because of that reason. It will what it will lead to a shift in the entire supply what curve. Okay, so that is that for that. Also, let's say uh, 
uh, property tax on gas stations. All those people that sell gasoline, okay, that sell what gas, or whether cooking gas, or I don't know whether the one for cars, okay, so or even petrol PMS, all right. So now let's say the property tax reduces. Hope you know that what before what that before a petrol station fixes price, okay, they have put, accounted for all of these what things, okay. Government tax, everything that I can't do all of them, and then I arrive at the price that's okay. This people are paying this piece, this uh, this particular price, it will not be a burden on us. Okay, so for example, government now reduces the property tax, they bring it down very well. So if the property tax is high, it will that's why any decision that the government makes directly or indirectly will affect the citizens. Okay, so it is not the people that are selling that is affected. Because they will always make profit. It is we that are purchase, that are purchasing, that are buying that it will affect. Okay, so if the government drops down property tax on gas station, it means that what the those gas station will be willing to what to sell at what at a slightly lower what price. And because of that, okay, uh, because what they have reduced, that what they have reduced what property what tax, then definitely it means that what it will lead to what to a shift also a shift. Along what the uh, it will, it will lead to what a shift in the what in the entire supply what curve. Okay, it's as simple as A B C. Property tax it will affect what all the what all the products. Okay, though it will lead to what will lead to a shift. So it may come down now. So yeah, now that's in supplying Q one. Okay, but because. But because the property tax are reduced, that means they want to what, sell at what are slightly lower prices. Okay, so maybe at Q one the price they will just bring it somewhere here. Okay, they will bring it somewhere here. Okay, so that what it lead, okay, a shift, a shift, okay, it lead to a shift in the what in the supply curve. Okay, if you don't understand this, just just know that what any factor that what that that is other than price, okay, if it's other than price, all right, then it will lead to what an entire shift to lead to a shift in the entire supply curve. Okay, but if it is just price, okay, that's affected, then of course it will lead to what change in quantity what supplied. All right, so if it's not only price that is affected. Okay, you should be looking at what change in what in supply. But if it's only price that's affected, you should be looking at what at change in quantity supply. All right, I hope that is what very very clear. Let us go to the app now. Answer questions and we are done. Two thousand and five number twenty three says an increase in the quantity supplied of a commodity. We are talking about quantity supply now. That means there's a movement, movement along a supply curve movement along a supply curve okay that's what you're looking at a says a leftward shift of the supply curve b says a rightward shift of the supply curve c says a movement along the supply curve very correct option c is very correct d says an increase in elasticity of supply option c is correct 2001 number two says a change in supply i talk about a change in supply they ask they answer this question though a change in supply we talk about a shift now okay a shift Okay, of what of the supply curve either to the left or to the what to the right. Okay, now a change in supply is best described as a says a movement along the supply curve. No, b says shift of the supply curve to the right. Yes, but not only to the right. C says shift of the supply curve to the left, not only to the left. It's either to the left or to the right. D says shift of the supply curve to the left or to the right. Correct answer is option D. If let's say for example. Uh, the other options, okay, we're not there, like C and D were not there, okay, you can choose C, you can choose only B rather, if B and D were not there, you can choose only C, but since there is D, shift either to the left or to the right, then you must take what D, okay, so correct answer is what is number, is option D. All right, so please make sure you download the app and make sure you start with practicing your way to success. Okay, my name is Master T, I am the commander of this army and of this crew, all right, I wish you success and I hope to see you in the next class. Thank you for watching.